Why begin this offensive now? This offensive, or at least announcement, that the offensive is coming soon, it's not a surprise. It's something that Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and the Foreign Minister Mevlüt Çavuşoğlu has hinted over the past couple months, hoping that the Americans would take into account Turkey's security concerns. However, as we see continuing shipments of arms to the YPG, or SDF as it's better known, uh, continue, and uh, cargo planes, uh, the President said in his announcement, over 3,000 cargo planes that his intelligence has uh, provided him that from the U.S. to the SDF. We see the support continuing, and now with the Daesh threat limited to about a 150 kilometer square area where it's basically non-existent, now is the time to go into east, uh, go in east of the Euphrates and neutralize this threat to Turkey's national security. And President Erdogan also stated that if need be, if the Daesh threat in that area is not neutralized, that Turkish forces will neutralize that threat as well. Right. And he said very specifically this operation will not target U.S. forces, but it will target U.S., the allies of U.S. forces. Um, how far do you think the United States would be willing to go to continue to defend this alliance with the YPG? Well, first, from a Turkish perspective, President Erdogan didn't completely burn bridges with the U.S. either. He also, in his statement, he said that he's still hoping to be able to work with the U.S. going forward and that he's still hoping that the U.S. will take into account Turkey's security concerns. Now, on the U.S. side, they've heavily invested in the YPG over the years. This is not just the Trump administration. This goes back to the Obama administration when the decision to work with the YPG was reached. So we're talking about years of investment in the YPG, mm -hmm. training, millions and maybe even billions of dollars in weaponry invested in them. And for what, when we look at it, they've been an average at best force used against Daesh. Now that the Daesh threat is done and the YPG is having problems with governance in the area, we're seeing a lot of these Sunni Arab groups uh, revolting and rising up against uh, YPG, especially in Deir Zor, in Raqqa, and many of these uh, majority Sunni Arab areas. Going forward, we're going to have to see how much the U.S. will support. That's actually a wild card, and this mm. may be one of the reasons why Turkey has delayed this operation for so long because they, they're trying to formulate and devise how much the U.S. will support the YPG and stand with them because at the current moment, there's joint observation posts being built along the Turkish border with the YPG, and there's a lot of uh, bases where the YPG and U.S. soldiers are together. So it's, a, it's very tricky for Turkey to move forward because on one side you have a NATO ally, and on one side, you have a terrorist organization that needs to be cleaned from the region. So definitely a very tough decision for President Erdogan to make, but he's very decisive in this, and this operation is going to happen.